Hello once again, it's me, your old pal Don Barris, and this is another edition of the Best of the Ding Dong Show. This is where we take the best clips of Ding Dong Show material for the entire month. We put it in one big monthly type of thing, and this is from September of 2023. Now this opens with me having a little boxing match with Quinn Wright. Was it real? No. I think everybody here knows if it was a boxing match between Quinn Wright and I, I would kill him. But we add to this bubbles, and that's fun. We have some stand-up from Janet Roth. Also, Nicole Tran, who always has something sweet to say to Mary Jane. She's the hardest working girl I've ever known, and she knows everything to say to everybody she comes in contact with. And what she did here is she was comparing Mary Jane to an old time movie star. Mary Ann, my favorite poet, did another poem that was wonderful. Tennessee gave us the lowdown on what he did when he was just a baby with his sisters uh, and his sister's friends. Old friend of the show, Neil Leeds came by Always good to see him, Neil Leeds, and he proved that he can't be beat. But Eli proved that he can't be beat through chemical dependency. Corky made a promise to Quinn to try to help him get laid. How was he going to do that? Mary Jane came out, and what she did, she brought her pal Vagina Rock out, who was doing this impression of a new presidential candidate. that in honor of poor Corky's death, I got Botox. <laughs> That's why I really feel silly that now he's not dead. Because I, I spent all the Ding Dong Show t-shirt money on it. <laughs> Oh, what's the question? I can take it's it. On the live chat. Uh, question for Quinn. Are you wearing a virgin Halloween costume today? <laughs> I mean, it's every day is Halloween for me if you put it that way. <laughs> Called Ride Be Hard. <laughs> I want to cream all over me. I want to cream all over you. Fuck me. Make me yours. Make love to me. Ride me hard. I want to get worn out. I like that. Love when we make love. I love when we get worn out. 
And they would get me, sneak me in the closet. And they would suck on their little titties. Wow. Yeah. Did that scar you? No, I almost got him in trouble, but then, then he was saved because the other saved him, right? Well, my daddy came in one day and he caught, he caught this little racket we had going on. Because you, you make noise when you're stuck in Yeah, we make noise and the girls were collecting the money. From you? No, from the girls that I was sucking. <laughs> it was a regular racket, and he says, he said, I got that boy in that closet. I'm fixing to beat that boy up. And he got, went and got his belt, no. you know. And you know what my mama said? I know. What did my mama say? Don't touch that boy. It's just the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom said that he would need to see a psychiatrist pretty soon. I mean, I want you to hear. Okay, go out to where you were. Wow. We've got a question from outside of the... For you, Janet, would you take a question? Uh, which breast should I take it with? Come on, the last, don't, last don't, one don't, or the right on. one? No, don't do that. You know, that might work in your country, but that's not good. <laughs> okay, the question is... Question for Janet. Did Tennessee and Tuxedo's story get you revved up, as the kids say? Yes, I think it did. She's winking at me. <laughs> 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 You're in trouble, man. If you could give her one line, remember, keep in mind, ding dongers are not allowed to date each other, but if you could give her a line, let's say you saw somebody like this on the street, what would that line be? I'd say, darling, would you bring some water next week? <laughs> Damn, I'm going to try that. It's a good man, now everybody speak different languages. You see, big Russian, Spasipa, Spasipa. Everybody speak different languages. Yeah. You know, I live in Korea town. And people start speaking Korean to me. I speak. It's not because I look Asian. Because I go to the coffee shop, I walk like this. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee. Tennessee. Would you would you do this? Uh, would you dedicate tonight's song to her? Uh -huh. Sure. Her name's Cuthole Ferguson. <laughs> get lost. Move it. Fucking put the mic down. Ladies, get lost. Ladies and gentlemen, make it for Corky. Stop. Stop. Come on, nice hands. Take a lead. Everybody, don't be me. Wait a minute. Let me just. Hey, all right. Yeah. 
Carter keep coming and trying to steal and Neil's fucking entrance and bullshit. What the Forget fuck? Forget about it, we're going to the mattresses, right? Hey! hey. What's going on, Courtney? <laughs> no, you get on the other side of me because I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and when I kill you, man, it's going to be fucking bad. And you guys are going to look at me. Oh, what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Can you shut the fuck up? Yes. But next hand, there is. Free respect. Can I go back to the killing? No. <laughs> no, I just want to say. Mary Jane, who are we going to bring up? You cannot kill hey, the hey, spirit. Hey, hey, So. Can I say this? So no one dies. You right? cannot kill unless you don't shut your fucking mouth. Put the mic down. Just what do you mean? So you. I had to go do coke so you could fight this guy. I mean, that's right. I, I was gonna lose. I, I lost it. It looks like coke. it really helped up. Yeah. With me. So, so what are they gonna tell you now? Yeah, you know, look at how poorly you did. Well, uh, like I said, I was so embarrassed. I'm not in another rehab because I relapsed. I'm in another rehab because I literally cannot show my face there again. <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, my face is permanently altered. I broke an orbital. Yeah. Anybody know what that is? No. It's a guy's socket. Oh, oh, here comes Corky. Corky knows it. What is it. Orbital is one of the greatest electronic groups ever. That's true. Right. And, and they broke it. And they broke it. What? They broke Orbital. Oh, they didn't break it. What the and fuck? And so gone. Now I have a wonderful nurse supervising me, okay. making sure I don't Where's your nurse? Right there. Where is she? Woo! There's Desi. Hello, Desi. <laughs> you know, if this would have been a different time, a different place, you know, he would have been a little worse. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, yeah. Quinn will be living with Quirky! <laughs> Imagine if really turns out he's just a coonhound bringing home like three girls a night. <laughs> Quirky's gonna be my wingman. <laughs> what is. <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm bound to get laid. This is Mary Jane's impression. Thank you, everyone, for giving me the uh, prestige of an attempted assassination. Only 12 miles from where my father was assassinated. Everybody else, it's because the first time I had sex, I didn't fuck somebody's girlfriend on bath salts while they watched. Ooh. Now that needs a little bit of context, right? That needs just a little bit of context. Just a second, I need to help out just a little bit. Quinn, that's not the way it works. Then sure. you lose the virginity, then you go to a bath. Oh, oh. damn, that's good to know. I can get you into a rehab. I got you. <laughs> a rehab for no pussy. <laughs> I'm 
I'm looking for a national television program for the Ding Dong Show producer. Yeah. 115 million. You're going to take over producer. Well, if I got the. Uh, if you get 115 million dollars, we'll get your producer. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I might have it right here. You know what that is? It's a Powerball. Woo! So if you won, Not you would be the producer of the Ding Dong Show. Haven't even checked it. And if it works, <laughs> I will. So we. Minute he checks, we're all rich. Woo! And now I want to ask you something. There is somebody in this room, and I'm not going to mention who, that said that uh, it was his birthday today. Woo! Then I get here, and I find out he lied. What the fuck? Well, did he have a black eye? Yeah. <laughs> God almighty. What's happening to this world?